Hello, welcome back to the 26 YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be reacting to Peaky Blinders Season 6, Episode 2. Now, if you're new to the channel, you might be wondering, or if you're someone who's like been to the channel a few times, you wouldn't have seen me react to Peaky Blinders before. It's actually a show that I really, really love, and I've watched everything so far, and I've also watched the first episode of Season 6, but I haven't watched Episode 2 or 3 yet, and I thought... While I'm doing this reaction channel on YouTube, why don't I just react to Peaky Blinders? Because I love the show so much. So we're going to kick on with episode two of Peaky Blinders, and we can't do that without wearing this. So let's go. Here we go. Oh, I'm so sad that the actors died. I will just say as well, quickly, before this goes on the way they handled her death i think was perfect um they did it nice and nice and elegantly they didn't show her face much which i thought was very very good anyway let's get into this yeah the heart beating in the background nice little detail there again boom 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 yeah you come soon come on the one thing these films have done really well, even though Tommy's an absolute fucking scary lad, they've made him a good family guy. Vroom vroom in my brand new old fashioned whip. With a red rod hand. Ooh. Interesting. Tommy ain't well. Stop smoking, man. That's it. And then you and me will go to bed. She's not wrong though, to be fair. Tommy's got everything planned out always. Everything's just objects in his way. Oh, I like that camera angle. That was really well shot. What's going on here? What's happened to him? Is he having a seizure? They keep using Polly's like in the background of everything at the moment, which is such a good detail. Like, how has he got cut? It's four years, one month, and six days since I had a drink. Wow, the fact that my head is clear. The fact that he's just. Counting all the days that he hasn't drunk. It kind of reminds me of like the situation with Iron Man. I know this is very obviously different, but it's kind of like how Iron Man just didn't want to rest. Doing so much work trying to save everyone, and then at the end, Pepper Potts just said, You can rest now, but he had died. And I wonder if that's some foreshadowing for what might happen in this series. I've said before to one of my friends that I think I don't think Tommy's making it through this. Alive anyway. Hey, everyone loves Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> Look at that, they love him. Absolute geezer. Ooh, cold. That's sick. I love how the camera angle is so shaky. They may raise their voices. But here in the smoke, you men and women. Politics. Not be silent. Not this Englishman. What a speech. What a speech. Makes me want to punch someone. <laughs> oh, we got now. No, oh, it's the the Irish woman that killed Polly. Well, this is gonna get interesting if she's in the same room. <laughs> Give him one good reason why he shouldn't knock you out. Italian, you both have reasons to hate me and to want to seek revenge for the killing. Gypsy tradition. We do not mention the name of the dead in company. 
good thing I'm not Tommy because I would have just straight up punched her in the face. <laughs> Tommy's a businessman. By order of the Peaky Blinds. Means you fuck people. Fuck people over and don't give a fuck. Means you covet and steal and burn all principles. Yeah, you bitch. Sorry, you're self interest. Bitch. Well, I'm changing. Honor McKee. My organization is also changing. What a geezer. Well, since I've entered politics, I've learned that the line doesn't go out from the middle to the left and the right. It goes in a circle. It does. I'll show you. Time is, time's an endless circle. You've gone far enough left. Eventually you'll meet someone who's gone far enough right to get to the same place. Working class socialists like me, working class nationalists like you. The result? We need each other. National socialism. And that's me. I'm guessing this means we're going to be seeing Mr. Sullivan in this episode. Just a man trying to make an honest And I love Al. Alfie's my favorite character, by the way. I just want to say as well, like, I know what they're talking about, but I am, like, pretty sick as well. So, like, if I ever miss anything or anything goes in my, over my head, it's because I'm stupid. <laughs> But at least I understand what they're saying, because I'm English, and I can understand the bloody accent. Ada. <laughs> Came to collect Arthur and put him to bed. Found him in Garrison Lane with a syringe in his hand. Arthur's gone to pop. Is that a yes or a no? Is it hell a yes? My answer's yes. Boom! The answer's always yes. All the gold and diamonds and fucking, fucking mink and lace. She was a solid socialist. Polly's death's changed Tommy so much. I know it's too late, but it's time. And Michael doesn't see that. And that's his biggest weakness. His doorway. Oh, we're gonna have um, an Alfie Sullivan's reveal here. That's what it's giving me vibes of. Tommy! That's what it's gonna say. I always thought that Otto was just fat people fucking shout. Yeah, but yeah. What do you think now? I think it's out of a tenor in full passion. How on earth this man survived a fucking bullet to the skull? Do not like that. No, no. Do not like that. No, I have a condition. I was told, Alfie, a member of your family has died. Charles Solomons, your uncle. He ran all the narcotics, bootlegging, prostitution, gambling syndicates out of East Boston. But last January, poor old Charlie, well, he was shot. Clean Alfie. Little back heel. <laughs> Alfie. I think I may have written your final act. Why don't you sit down? That was a good line. You know, I once saw an Irishman arguing with the statue of Oliver Cromwell in Parliament Square. <laughs> so angered, in fact, that eventually he punched the statue on the nose and broke his fucking hand. <laughs> she needs to play um, Black Cat in the Marvel world. It would be so good. And our souls will come together and we'll fuck. I won't need an alarm clock. That's coming. And you won't That's see me until I'm done. Midnight, folks, 5 a.m. Every day. Because we trust each other. I don't trust her. Reveal his mistress. Why is Scarlet? Brie's got so so a wag. What's Arthur doing now? You're in. You're in. Come on, get in. My brother. Tommy. Johnny Dogs. Those we invited. Even I'm embarrassed to write around. What have I done with this character? That's what. You're fucking blasphemy. 
Yeah. Slap him again. Bathroom man. First time I need your back. And then your brother. They all won your back, all right? Still. You've been a mess. So was some real work? Yeah. Mr. Shelby, Lady Diana Mitford. Oswald's most recent and last ever mistress. Well, this is my wife. Confidence. Confidence. Actually, no. I don't really know much about this business at all. But I have fucked your future husband. You'll know lots of things about him. Tommy, I'll be outside. Shelby, from now on, can I call you Thomas? If you like. Of course we would. And we are very grateful for your efforts. She was his. Your cares with Mr. Shelby. He has been my speciality. That's an awesome thing, they're looking good. That's so cinematic. Like, look how massive this church is. I think a great deal about what you've said. That wasn't a yes. Ada said they only say yes. Oh god. What's happened? Shelby. What are you doing, love? I can hear voices. Coming from up the chimney. The way, man. Is that meant to be church one? I, I swear they've jumped back into church like five times in this. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now with green eyes and grey. It's the grey man. Grey man. He says he's coming for me. And he's coming for daddy as well. <laughs> Shit, he's got up now, CJ. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, <laughs> doctor. I told her, go with her to the number I gave you. Her eyes may shall be lay. episode what an episode that was jesus christ this episode was a lot more meeting based as you might want to call it because there was a lot of talking and dialogue but you know you got to see alfie solomon's back uh, a lot with mosley but obviously the main talking point of this episode is ruby his daughter and how she's dealing with i can't remember what the the illness is called but it's a gypsy illness Thomas, Tommy spoke about in the first episode and as you can tell she's getting haunted by the man with green eyes uh, the man in grey who's going to apparently kill her and Tommy obviously I'm guessing that is Michael Grey now will Michael kill them both? I don't think he will but will Ruby die? I think she might she might already be dead by the time in this final episode when she says doctor says you shouldn't go close she might, she might already be dead in that instant now I do wish there was a little bit more action in this episode but you need episodes like this in a series especially when it's the final series you need you know points to be put in place before big things happen and like i said in this reaction at some point i think it does come down to i think evident tommy is going to die at some point in this series i really do believe that i'm going to go down with that prediction all the way down through to the line Anyway, let me know if you would like to see more show reactions like this, because recently I've just been doing trailer reactions, so let me know. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more reactions, go here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe. See you in a bit.